Hello everybody, welcome back to Papa Saw Shop. So today, I'm here in the shop, and uh, so I wanted to, let me get you moved around here a little bit, so I can just set this camera down. Um, so I want to address something that, uh, that I'm just going to, if you're, if you're thinking about buying an old goat saw, um, or you've, you've been contemplating it, and you're just like, I'd, I want to know the inside scoop on these. Well, I'm going to give you the inside scoop. Okay. Um, now, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the biggest, the biggest, uh, the biggest bad part about this thing. Okay. We'll we'll start with the with the biggest worst part. Okay. Um, so the 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 one thing that I've learned in in building a custom saw, and I and I don't mean just just taking an old saw, you know, and you just. You just take a junk old saw like this, and you say, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna build this thing in. I'm gonna put a new engine in. I'm gonna blah blah blah." You know, that's that's just that's just rebuilding stuff. I'm I'm talking about when, when when you decide, as I have, on a few things. First of all, when you decide, enough is enough. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it right. I'm not going to screw over anybody. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to move forward one iota uh, with, without the intention of this product that I send out is going to be good. I'm going to, I'm going to trust it. I keep moving around here. I notice our lights getting a little weird there. Um, but uh, you, you get where I'm saying here. Okay. Every saw that I send out, I want to have the utmost confidence that you're going to be tickled pink with it. Um, so that right there, my my little quirk right there is sometimes gets in the way, okay? And I'm going to get to that in a minute. Um, so you you have to you have to write from the start this is some of the stuff i've learned you have to write from the start realize that this is not and and i keep saying we're not reinventing the wheel we're just making it roll better ah okay there's there's some truth in that um but there's a caveat to that as well um so what if we're talking wheels? Let, let's just use a, a wheel um, as, as an example, okay? If we say we're not reinventing the wheel, really all I'm saying is, is the wheel is going to stay round. Other than that, I'm reinventing everything, okay? And so you can say, well, these other companies, you know, these big companies been in been in business for years. Um, they got a research and development department, and, and we do too. And basically, our research and development department is a, some redneck boys that go out and just tear the crap out of stuff. And when they do, we say, hey, now how can we make that so it doesn't tear up any, better, any, any more or any worse? What can we do to make that better? Okay, other people's research and development departments don't do that. They basically say, okay, I've got this screw that we've been using for 30 years. How can I make that screw but make it cheaper? And I don't give a damn if it lasts longer or not. If we just make it cheaper and we sell more of those, let's research how we can do that, and then let's develop that. There's your research and development right there. there there's your big-time, big-company research and development. Okay, um, what I'm doing here is I'm taking this. I'm starting from the very scratch, from the very bottom. And I'm saying, okay, this is, this is the heart of arguably the best tree climbing saw I ever made. Are there any flaws in it? You're damn right there are because it was made by human hands so there's flaws in it. Okay, fair enough. Let's find them. Let's figure out how to fix them. 
Are you going to fix them all, Papa? Yeah, I'm going to try. So, <clears throat> so in that, okay, you hear that right there? I've done that a few times on my videos. So this, this case here is one that we powder coated, but it's not gone through the, the inside coating process that I'm not going to show you. Okay, now back in the old days, let me see, there's, there's one here. Back in the old days, I'll get that a little closer. That's what they used to look like. And they coated this right in here. They, they put this, uh, I don't even know what the hell that is. It's some kind of a plastic beeswax kind of stuff. Um, if it gets hit, it, it cracks like glass. Um, anyway, you hear that thud? It makes it thud. Not this. Doesn't make that tinging noise. So, this takes up a bunch of space where your oil would be for the chain. This is, this is the compartment that holds the oil. Well, I'm not a big fan of blocking off an entire cavern that holds oil. So, anyway, again, I'm not going to go through, I'm not going to go through all that, but but we, we basically line the entire underside of this so that you have the same effect as this without taking up all that space. And we do it in here. Okay, so that takes a little longer. Okay, and that's, that's where I'm getting here. Okay, just bear with me here. I don't know I'm already seven minutes in this video and haven't explained what I'm here for. Um, so... We got that. We got the fact that we're we're kind of reinventing the wheel, but some wheels, um, if treated harshly, come apart. Our wheel, we we do everything we can. I do everything I can here to make sure that these things just don't come apart. And like I always say, I don't want to sell you parts. I want to sell you a saw. Period. I'm not into selling chainsaw parts. I want to sell chainsaws. I sell parts for all the other saws. I don't sell very many parts for these. I, I sell them as a unit. You can buy parts if you want, but that, that's not our forte. We're, we're not into this for parts. We're into this for, for the long haul. So, um, <clears throat> the other thing is we have other suppliers. Sometimes it's not their fault, honestly. Sometimes it's our fault. But it, it, there's, an old, there's an old song that a part of the lyric says, it's their fault, it's their fault, and it's their fault, but the highway still ain't paved. Okay, that, that's where I'm going with this part here. Okay, we, we have supply chain issues as well around here. Sometimes we can't get dogs. Sometimes we can't get exhaust. Sometimes we can't get cord. We, and again... I'm, I'm not screaming at our suppliers because, honestly, a lot of times it's not their fault, it's our fault. Or it's just somewhere in between. Or who knows? I, I don't A lot of times I just raise my hand, shake my head, and just go, okay, all right. Um, so we got that. And then lastly, we have things like what just happened. So I've got a run of saws that I'm going to show you here in a little bit. And, they, and, and, and when the saws, I'll kind of pretext this a little bit before I show you that um, once a saw order comes in, then the, we order from, from the case maker, um, and then pieces start coming in. One piece at a time starts flowing in. Some pieces we have, I'll show you the, I'll show you the board here in a minute of all the stuff we have. Um, and then as those pieces come in, as those custom parts come in, then, um, then those, those saws get, start getting put together. They're, they're kind of on the assembly line, but they're kind of not because not every single one of these saws are going to be the same. If, if you send me an order and something like firefighter is in your name or your email or whatever, um, I'm, I'm probably, maybe you'll never fight a fire with this thing. You know what? 
you'll be able to when I'm done, at no extra cost. It's in the name. Somebody called me up here recently, and me and Happy were out here working in the shop. Had him on speakerphone, and they said, "Hello, is this Papa Saw Shop?" And I said, "Yes, sir." He said, "Do you work on saws?" It's in the name. Come on. So there's that. Um, so if if you say you know you you got an email that says number one logger, <laughs> I know what loggers do. I'm going to make sure that your saw is built for a logger. Um, so uh, anyway. So, all of these are again they're on they're on somewhat of an assembly line, um, but that just means that they're in order. They're um, each each saw is being built to its own specific um, qualifications. Um, maybe the customer has put it out there for me. Maybe I've just said you know. I've been to all the states in this country, and this part of the country is going to have that. You're going to have this kind of dust. You're going to have that kind of tree. You're going to have this kind of, we better, we better gear it towards that. So there's your research and development. There's, there's what we do here. We, we add that extra thinking, okay? Now, I'm going to show you what happened to something here recently. So remember when I said a while ago, my intention is to send out a quality product every single time, okay? I never, never intend for any saw to reach a customer's hands and they are not tickled pink with it. I, I imagine the look on people's faces when they get their saw and go, wow, wow. I'd, I'm imagining Christmas morning every damn saw, every damn time a saw leaves the shop in a box. And that's what I want you to feel every single time you get one of my saws. And if you don't, I guarantee to you that I am way more disappointed than you are. So, um, having said that, if I have something come through, if somebody notifies me and they say, hey, I got one of your saws, and I got a problem. If I can't solve it on a phone call, if I can't solve it in a text, everything gets shut down. Everything. I'm done building saws. There's, there's a mistake that's happened somewhere, and I'm, I'm done building saws, okay, until we get it figured out. And so that happened recently. Yeah, my neighbor's dog stopped by. Hang on, just a minute. I gotta get him a biscuit here. He's dying for a biscuit. Is he on the phone? No, I'm on the Make it a video. There you go, buddy. There you go. Alrighty. So this is what happened recently. So we had. Show you one of these here. This is a saw labeled uh, North Carolina. Headed out to North Carolina. And uh, I promised him I was going to show him his saw in this video. So, Mr. Firefighter, here it is. So, I'm going to show you the issue we had. So, this saw is going to be going out to North Carolina. It's got the, it's got the added, it, it will have, an added air flow that will come through here. It's got the added air wings on the cylinder head. And this, whoops, let me put all this back over here. And this has all gone through its testing now. But this is all going to turn freely through here. And everything's been heat tested. However, something we ran across Somebody got in touch with me from Iowa, and he said, Hey, I got one of your saws, and every time I use it, I'm having to tighten everything up. And that doesn't seem right, because uh, we, we pretty much seal everything in there. Everything's We, we use a Loctite that's uh, basically it's a silicone base. It should just, should just lock everything in there. It shouldn't be an issue. Well, it is. So we talked a few times. And he said, you know, 
just noticed I'm having to tighten these bolts up right here. I said, nope. Shut her down. Shut everything down. If you got to tighten up those cylinder head bolts, something's definitely not right. Okay, well, here's what we found out in our research and development. This is something that you don't get at a big chainsaw company. Okay, first of all, we stop building saws. That's it. If, if we got cylinder head issues and they're coming loose, I'm not sending any more of them out with a cylinder head coming loose. I'm not going to do it. I don't care how much money is in it. We're not doing that. Okay, well, here's what it turned out to be. I don't know if you can see that or not. Get my pen up here. Now, this is one of those things that is, is a really simple thing. But you just don't notice it when you're putting it together. And I'm going to show this for everybody. I'm going to show you this for saw builders as well. See that right there? That gap right there, that length of that screw? All right. Well, it goes without saying that that screw has to be a certain length. Okay? It, you can't have a six inch long screw in there. We know that. However, who knew? that that let me get my pen here that much screw would make a difference see where I'm at there the third on the third set of uh, third set of threads that's all it amounted to so as this guy was sitting in here when this sits Down inside, down here, I'll get my pen here so you can see this little cavern. And it sits right down in here. You only got so much. You got so much leeway in there. So what was happening is here at the shop, when we're tightening those in, doesn't matter how tight we put them, doesn't matter what kind of sealant we put in these, these things are built for power. And so the power is coming right here, right? This is the heart of the engine right here. So the power is coming right from the heart of the engine. And so that is the most vibration here. So as this thing gets just a small amount of vibration is all it takes. This thing is allowing a little bit of space between the cylinder head and the case just almost microscopic but it's enough and so first of all it allowed the saw to run a little bit rich which our saws it doesn't really matter because we you know, we, we we reshape this top anyhow and this is all redone here anyhow and so that little bit of space in there is kind of minute but the issue at hand was the vibration so that, since this is pushing up against the case, that case is literally pushing that screw right back out. Once you have this guy starting to vibrate, everything else is going to vibrate loose because this is where the power is. So it took us a little bit to come up with that. But in the meantime, we don't send anything out. I've... I've actually froze a couple orders and said, no, nope, sorry, we can't make them right now. I've, we've got to get these off the bench first. Um, because that has to be figured out. And so besides that, and you might notice I've got this little horse thing. So I, we, uh, we had the, we finally got the COVID bug that traveled through the house. Nobody, nobody got real sick or anything, but, um, we, uh, just not the mess with the boys and uh, so anyhow <coughs> get a little cough but um, so anyhow I'm going to lie as promised I'm going to show you a little assembly line up here but um, so that's that's kind of the things that that gives us a stall here and so other chainsaw companies just say, yeah, you got a back order or something like that. Well, it's their back ordered because they've 
they're already making a million saws and they just don't have enough made. All right, there's some of that here, but why are they not made? They're not made because every single saw is its own saw. It's not an assembly line. It's everyone is geared towards you, the customer. And if we find an issue, we stop selling saws. We, we figure it out and then we move forward. Um, but we're, we're not, if all of a sudden we find out that what we've been doing all this time suddenly doesn't work and somebody else figures it out because, hey, I'm, I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I mean, we all make mistakes. Um, if I made one, I got to go back and fix it and then we can move forward. So anyway, before I let you go, I'm going to flip this camera around here. I'll show you the little assembly line just because there's all my junk here on the bottom row. But I'll, send you, I'll show you the little assembly line here just because I promised a few people that I would. Um, kind of shows you the, um, the different phases of build that all of these guys are in. So that's going to Texas. Um, not sure the address of that one there. Um, got their email and stuff. But there's Seattle. There's Gresham, Oregon. This is, uh, if, you, if you ordered an HP series, this one's just about on its way out. That's, that's what they look like when they're all finished. Um, that one's got a couple of tuning issues to do, and then it's gone. Uh, that one's going to Roseburg. It's, that's a 201, actually. Um, specialty case right there. North Carolina, Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota, if you're watching, this is, this is going to be... It's going to be quite the saw. That is not near the saw that you first sent to us. Uh, Washington State. We got a couple of what we call the green bees that are going to Beaverton, Oregon. And then we got one more gray one back here on the end. Pay no attention to Husqvarna there. <laughs> so, anyway, so these are the ones that are all that are all headed out in different different stages of build. So, um, and the good news is we're backing. There you are. Um, good news is we're back up and running. And um, oh, the board. There's here's the build board right here. This has got all of our all of our parts and screws and nuts and bolts and all that kind of stuff. So back up here. Um, so anyway, as promised, uh, if you've got a saw on the on the build bench. Um, you got to see it there in, in all of its glory before it gets all of its pretty stuff on. And uh, kind of get a glimpse of uh, how we build them. And, and uh, if you're waiting for a saw, I appreciate your patience. Uh, just know that when you get it in your hands, if we had to stop production because there was something wrong, we did it. Um, if you had to wait for a little bit, I'd like to say that I'm sorry, but I'm not. I appreciate your patience, but I'm not sorry that we waited so that you get a good saw and we don't ship you something that's going to break. Um, but uh, other than that, I guess that's all we got for today. If you got any questions, uh, head on over to www.papashop01.com. Uh, you can send me a message over there. If you haven't, haven't ordered one of these things yet, we are open and we're building these things like crazy again, so go ahead and get one ordered. And, um, hey, check out our uh, TikTok. Half Pint just started a TikTok. And uh, basically, it's all the silly stuff that goes on behind the scenes over here at Papa Saw Shop. So, uh, kind of cool to check that out. So, anyway, check us out on TikTok, YouTube, uh, PapaShop01.com, uh, Instagram, all those places. We're everywhere. So, till next time, happy motoring.